can write it. Okay. Metal Master himself, Lars Ulrich, is here from Metallica. He wants you to binge and purge on some live sh And we'll tell you who won the Metal God contest, who's going to be in a movie. It's The Rock Show next. All right, this is The Rock Show. Got another one of those kick-ass shows. Uh, it's all Metallica tonight, and if you're wondering why the hell the food's all here, we'll explain that later. That's Lars Ulrich from Metallica is here to help us out, talk about some live sh binge and purge. Thanks for coming, man. Of course, you guys need all the help Pl you can get. Yeah, we do, actually, absolutely. <laughs> Pleasure to have you sitting on the box here. Thank you. First, before we get to live sh binge and purge stuff, let's talk about the new video. Did a yes, did something for Mission Impossible 2, I Disappear. Great song. We're about to premiere the video for the first time here on Rock Show. So, uh, you, off camera, you were saying that you spent a buttload of money on this thing. Somebody else's money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Tell us about the video. It's the first video we've ever done where the, the budget was not recoupable. So, it's like, let's just piss it away did as fast as we can. Did they just say, spend as much as you want? Or what was the deal on that? <laughs> well, I mean, more seriously, I mean, to me, the movie... Yeah, I saw most of the movie a couple of months ago, and this movie is just all about size and energy, and it's just such a huge piece of work, and we just wanted the video to be sort of in line with that. So we made basically like the biggest video that we could. It was really fun. Most of the other videos we've done, now I look back on them, they're, they're cool, and, and uh, they were great for the time. Some of them were a little sort of too artsy-fartsy for my taste, right. but this video is just scream size, and it, it's really cool. It was like a five-day shoot, and we did a, you know most of our own stunts, and it was just really a whole different video-making experience, you know, so making videos usually is like the most boring thing on the planet, and this one was actually fun in places, so it was, it was cool. All right, let's see it. I'm looking forward to this. You do the honor since it's the uh, rock show premiere. Go ahead and introduce you your video. To Absolutely. You like guest in, hosted this show before like you know the what same, you're doing. In the same corny way that you introduced me? No, don't do that. Okay. No, don't All do right. that. This is, uh, I didn't write that. <laughs> sure you didn't. Uh, this is the VH1 premiere of the latest Metallica video, I Disappear. Coming up, Lars Ulrich cracks open a diary and uh, we'll tell you who the lucky son of a bitch is who's going out to L.A. to be in that movie Metal God on the rock show next. All right, we're at The Rock Show. This is an awesome show for you. Lars Ulrich, as you can see from Metallica, sitting here. We're going to talk about live sh binge and purge. Even though it was released in 93, it, uh, it's a cool enough thing to talk about. I got it right here. Uh, you look in there, and there's, uh, you know, of course, the CDs, there's the videos. The whole store in there. The stencil. <laughs> Why did you, uh, I guess, choose to release something like this, you know, with the three videos? That, well, yeah. we were coming off the, um, the never-ending Black Album tour, and um, we basically... We're at a point where we had like so much, you know, we, we taped a lot of shows in the early days and it was just like we had so much stuff laying around and it was just like we were sitting there, should we release this, should we do a live album, should we do a live video and it was just, we came to the conclusion, it's like, you know what, why don't we just like clean the attic out, just throw all the shit in there, just videos, CDs, the whole thing, just get it all out, just start from scratch next year with a new record, not have all this old crap sitting around. So that's basically, it was almost like it, it became an exercise and just pushing it as far as you could take it. It's become sort of quite a legendary item now because nobody's really ever done anything this no. outrageous since then. Nobody's been stupid enough to. So. What's this? What's the story? This is like uh, an evil guy, evil man, I think, uh, bad man. Like a I don't even know if it's upside down. That's the oh, stencil. Oh, it's uh, James Hetfield's uh, scary guy stencil thing here. It was just like, uh, go f*** up your, uh, you know, school cafeteria walls with this thing. I think we should f*** up some of this stuff in here. Yeah. I got the spray paint right here because you can't really tell what it looks like unless you spray it on something. Well, what do you got? I don't you know. I was thinking about flat, spraying it down here. A flat black surface? That was a flat black surface? Where? Right there. Oh, no way. Oh, Come on. Dude, no way. You're going to totally spray my face. Is this safe? Yeah. Are the fire marshals standing by? You're going to do my shirt. Yeah, dude, don't worry, man. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. I'll hold Feel it so for you. so close to you now. Yes, well. <laughs> Ready? Um, all right. Dude, it's getting in my face. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be over soon. Don't get it on the pizza. Hurry up. There you go. <laughs> Dude! How cool look is around. that? Yeah. Does it look cool? Huh? Yeah. How cool. But, you know, wow. the cool thing is I did it. Exactly. I mean, that'll be, that could go Dude. up to $5 hey, now. No, can you say eBay? I was yeah, going to okay. say. <laughs> exactly. Right. Here, sign your name on the back with the paint. Real quick. Just write Lars. And then, uh... And then, there you go. Would you just put an L? 
Oh, all there right. You go. There was long. Can you see it? Got that? <laughs> yeah. Now it right. just went down in cool. value. Yeah. Now it's <laughs> right. down to four bucks. Let's get to the first video. By the way, we'll explain what the food's all about here in a little bit. Whoa, dude. Would, I'm I know, high. dude. I'm yeah. just here. I'm just smelling. This is the end We don't need that vodka stuff. From live <laughs> binge and purge. Thank you. Up next, Metallica's banned from spitting and swearing, and yeah, and we'll give Lars Ulrich here an unexpected treat on The Rock Show next. <laughs> Lars Ulrich from Metallica is here. We're uh, talking about Does live Taking up as much air time as possible. Take control. <laughs> Take control of this book. Now, this is like uh, sort of the uh, diary, but it's not a diary. There's so many things in here that other people were shocked that you put in. There's like letters to you and, uh, well, why don't you just tell me your highlights of this thing? We just started digging up. These are actual real faxes that were sent around and just, you know, letters and settlement sheets and expense sheets. You've got to read that line, the Alice in Chains line. The Alice in Chains yeah, line. Yeah, find that. You, that's, that's hysterical. Uh, we were uh, we were putting this really big show together in England. It was a letter to me, an actual letter to me, uh, from our booking agent in 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 England. And um, he says here, dear Lars, blah blah blah. He says Alice and Chains are due to be announced next week. Their presence will definitely have an impact as they are currently on a highly successful sold out tour, which I deliberately underplayed in order to benefit your Milton Keynes show. <laughs> when I showed that to my f friend Jerry. <laughs> He wasn't really excited about that. I'm not sure that John Jackson is his booking agent anymore. But it's just got all this stuff in here, like settlement sheets from shows and... You stuff know, that stuff. actually shows... I didn't know what a settlement sheet was. It's like something that actually shows how much money you walked away with after a show. Yeah, like, and uh, all our expenses. And it's just pr pretty, pretty fun. People were really... People in the industry were really shocked when this thing came out because it's sort of like... This is sort of like, you know, behind the scenes stuff that nobody should really see. But since we don't care and since we just throw it all out there for people to devour, we just went for it. And um, it's pretty cool. From Live Binge and Purge, here's Whiplash. Back with Lars of Metallica. And uh, we were talking about the book, but there was one thing that I wanted to mention that we forgot about. The, uh, the rules in Singapore. How you weren't allowed, not allowed to swear or spit in Singapore. But you could play with your shirts off. We got an advanced the, letter from the promoter. No swearing. What you put no in here, spitting, by the way. Yeah. Well, this is from the country that when you uh, enter the country, you have to fill in an immigration form. Like on, on the one side is the information, the other side it just says in big red letters, it says uh, drop trafficking equals death penalty. <laughs> you just sit there and go like, uh, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we survived Singapore. They were very friendly and accommodating, and uh, but they, they definitely have some, some sort of parameters. Yeah, there. there's some... Up rules in that yeah. country. They, they spank you. Remember the guy that got spanked? Or With the cane. Right. He got cane for, cane for spray painting. <laughs> All these Singapore tie-ins, ladies and gentlemen. I guess after this segment, we won't be going back there. Yeah, I know. No kidding. <laughs> this is uh, next video. I think this is from Seattle, the video we're going to show next, right? The Seattle tape, the thing that should not be. Uh, find out if you're the winner of the Metal God Contest, and we're going to the sanitarium with Lars Ulrich on The Rock Show next. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're going to get to uh, what the hell the food is all here for and everything. Uh, just, now, Lars right, let walks me make my disclaimer here, okay? I, this is all their idea. Well, right, all right. Yeah. Hit, we did it to make them, you feel comfortable there, yeah. and to make you feel at home. And he walks in and goes, This is like, what the hell this is, is all like this like nine crap. years ago. Absolute. This, <laughs> we graduated to Belvedere now. You know, it's like Sapporo beer. It's all Cristal and Dom now. You yeah, know? see, this is all the stuff they used to request. This is on their rider. Pizza? The, you know, now it's gourmet that, sushi. Come well, on. Well, let's go through some of the stuff that you used to have to used have. Used to, yeah. Okay. The, the plastic cups solo had to be cups. solo. Absolutely. But this, like you're not, not even Dixie. getting into the fact that at one point they had to be black, because if James Hetfield was seen with any other color than <laughs> black, in, you know, on his body He'd or near out. his body, it would like you know the whole world would end. Sure. The honey, which had to be a plastic squeeze bottle. Right. That's. That's so you wouldn't injure yourself yeah, that was after Kirk the show. And, I think that was Kirk for his tea. The uh, the pistachios, no red to do ones. With me. No red ones. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and like claim nothing. Great, great poupon. That could be, yeah, I was rockers. I was, great poupon. I was into the the mustard vibe. God forbid it's Goldens, right? Yeah, that's not mustard. <laughs> that's sacrilegious, man. Liverwurst. This is sacrilegious. Liverwurst. That's a Danish. This thing. is like I'm an actual doing. sacrificed animal that they just call no, liverwurst. That, that, got I'll take the responsibility for that one. Cheese sliced Cheese. and unsliced. Uh, ripe avocado, Kirk. all this fruit. You had to have your granola bars. The pe what did you have pitas for? Kirk and his hummus and pita. Oh, right. It's like you know, I'm like 
23 hours a day, I'm drunk and hanging out in strip clubs. The other hour, I'm trying to be healthy, you know, with that <laughs> scenario. Um, so. Oh, God, let's play some more stuff from Live Binge and Purge. Welcome home, sanitarium. Lars and I are going to have some fun during the commercial break. You can have this bottle, and I'm taking this bottle. Yeah. Oh, I get the crappy bottle. Yeah. All right, we can I guess, Thank you. At least uh, we know what this is. At least right? one of us is drinking. <laughs> we'll tell you who, win the, uh, who wins the Metal God movie contest next, too, on The Rock Show.